If you must blink, do it now. Kubo and the Two Strings 4K Blu-ray Review. So I've seen this movie in theaters, on Blu-ray, and on 4K. And my goodness, look at that beautiful shot. So I remember being really, really excited to see this movie when it first came out, when I saw the trailer. I don't remember what movie I was watching, but I saw the trailer for this, and it played the cover song of the Beatles, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, and I was like, what is this? This is amazing. And I just felt like this movie was made for me. All right, I know this is a kind of a cheesy word to describe this movie on 4K, but it just has stunning detail. Stun so stunning and brave. Look at all this. Anyway, you, you can't see it through my phone. Anyway, just this part when he's walking in to the little village and it starts showing everything, I was just like, wow. Okay, I have something to say on the difference between these two. So this uh, this is the Blu-ray over here and then the this is the 4K Steelbook. So if you compare the sound of the Blu-ray to this one, it is just it's just not as powerful. So that's one thing I noticed from the very beginning when he's with his mom in the ocean, that the sound was super powerful and it was all over the place. And I was like, yes, this is a good one. Another big difference between the 4K and the Blu-ray is that the colors just, so they look good in the Blu-ray, but on the 4K, they just look more complete. Like you feel like you're actually seeing all the color that's there. Also, look at this. <laughs> he makes the dragon look over. <laughs> So the 4K of Kubo and the Two Strings compared to the Blu-ray, the, the Blu-ray looks good. There's lots and lots of details, but the 4K looks wow. And I had my mouth open just staring at the screen at a lot of parts in this. It's a pretty big difference. You can still enjoy the Blu-ray and get the story across and get the point across and even enjoy a lot of the detail. But this, I was just wowed and blown away and shocked and just like pleasantly pleased and totally sucked into the story with the 4K. So big, big difference over the Blu-ray. Awesome upgrade. Very, very clean image. So speaking of all the detail in the 4K, or in the movie in general, this is in the Blu-ray as well, but look at, look at this. So it's like an above shot of him about to start his little, his little magic guitar origami time. But look at this roof. It has like rocks on it. And I was wondering if all the roofs had that, and so I was looking, and it's just this one. So I don't know what, what that's about, the rocks on the roof, but it's a cool-looking detail. All right, I laughed on this part. Now enjoy it out of context. <laughs> Love. George Takei giving his signature line, oh my. Also, uh, look at this. Check out this origami blood spray and uh, two very different crowd reactions. <laughs> Guy gets origami blood in the face and almost throws up. It's so sweet how Kubo takes care of his mom and he feeds her and puts her to bed and because she has memory loss from her rock crash accident at the beginning. This is so cute watching take care of her. Look at this awesome thing right here. These are Japanese taiko drums. And I actually saw people playing these in Japan. And I actually have an awesome video of it. It's like 60 frames per second and everything. And uh, I guess they had the wrong name for the drums on the video forever. So maybe no one watched it. I don't know. Also algorithm stuff. But I'm going to include those videos in the description of this because I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever recorded as a group of people playing those drums. So, so look for that in the description. This is pretty awesome right here where Kubo sets up his own little shrine to his ancestors. And it's just on a rock. And he just made a little paper lamp. Um, but you can see how sincere he is. And everyone else has their own like little graves and shrine things. And he just has this rock. And I, I just think it's cool to watch how sincere he is. Also, my goodness, every single shot in this movie. I just want to go to every shot and be like, looky, looky, wow. This is so cool as Kubo sees that his little 
prayer wasn't answered, he gets angry. And as he gets angry, it turns all red from the sunset happening. And it goes from his cute little prayer moment to this beautiful sunset to something extremely creepy. Oh, what's gonna happen? Listen to this. You can hear that all around you. It's so creepy. Man, my phone cannot handle Dolby Vision. But my goodness, look at the shot composition on here. Let's hit play and see if it looks better. Your eye. Who are you? It's so creepy. How do you know my name? We are your family, Kubo. Your mother's sisters. Oh I'm my gosh. Looking for you. It gets real scary real fast right here. I love it. Look at the megabits per second on this thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Tweak it. You're a mean monkey, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. And that's three. You're out of questions now, so just listen. I think it was popping over a hundred multiple times. This is impressive. There's so much detail. Okay, this is... Boop. This is my favorite quote in this whole movie. So, you're going to listen to it now. You'll be weak. If you're weak... Okay, now you can actually hear the whole thing. Here we go. Listen. So, if you don't eat, you'll be weak. If you're weak, you'll be slow. If you're slow, you'll die. <laughs> I feel like I want to say that to my seven-year-old who won't eat breakfast. Okay, right here we have a bit of a reversal from normal giant monster times. Normally you have a giant monkey or ape or whatever it is, gorilla, King Kong, I don't care, hairy primate, grabbing a human woman, and now you have a giant man-shaped skeleton thing. <laughs> Grabbing the monkey. Look at that. Backwards. This part on the boat is really cute as they start to become a family. And you can see how happy it makes Kubo. Also, look at this. This looks so good. Look at that fish. I'm not going to lie. I really want to put some wasabi on that so and eat it right now. But yeah, look at that. They're becoming a little family, huh? The music on this boat fight part is so awesome. I love the drums. Listen to that. Okay, if you haven't seen this yet, I'm going to delve into a slight spoiler. Well, it might be a huge spoiler if you don't catch the, uh, the hint. Anyway, heads up. Skip like, I don't know, 10 or 30 seconds-ish if you don't want to have a spoiler. So, you've been warned. Okay. This is a really cool reveal here. Again, if you didn't already figure it out, it's a cool reveal where they're like, yes, this is happening. So this mask lady is attacking them on the boat and they've been talking about her sister. And then this is the first time that the monkey admits who it is because they've been talking about the sister as someone else. Listen. Strong and love made her weak. No! It made me stronger! And split in half mask. Oh. So we get the reveal that this is somehow his mom. And uh, yeah, so it just says she's like, it made me stronger. And then cuts that lady's face in half. All right, I absolutely love that this movie has this line. All began. Not this one. You finally saw me. That was my fault. Right here. You should have listened to my parents. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. I like when movies show little kids say they should have listened to their parents. Because I'm like, yes, little kids. Listen to me, dang it. Boop. Okay, so overall, the 4K is a huge upgrade and it looks incredible. And this movie is just such a fun, like heartwarming. It's like a tale of forgiveness and adventure and family and being brave and going on quests and beautiful, incredible, meticulous, detailed mo uh, motion, stop motion photography. Such a beautiful movie. Everyone should watch this. I love it. I feel like it's super underrated. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye.